Good afternoon, everyone. Happy hump day. Welcome back for a Wednesday pour. I am Brian. Thanks for coming back. Uh, today I'm playing with my split cup. I got a um, some leftover paints that I'm trying to use up, so I'm going to throw them in my split cup and do a wandering shray pour and uh, rotate it on my spinner. Come out with a really cool, I'm hoping some sort of... Um, flower-like shape, uh, kind of like maybe like a hydra hydrangea or something, those kind of colors. So um, I think you're going to like this piece. I really, really love it. And I've got someone who's already interested, I think, in it. So we shall see. All right, let's get down on the canvas and we'll get started. I'll be right back. What I've got is a 16 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. I'm repurposing it. I've got um, <clears throat> only going to need about 12 ounces of paint on this. I've got a uh, five chamber split cup. I'm going to be doing a wandering pour where I just tilt the cup out and I'm going to turn the canvas just like Fiona does. Colors I'm using today. I've got creative inspirations in the emerald green, cobalt blue, Purple Lake, Quinacridone Rose, and I'm also using Artist Loft um, in the soft body white. My pouring medium is Liquitex Gloss Medium. Got a not super, super thick consistency because I don't want it real thick. I want it kind of thin. And then I've got a flow extender in a darker green color that was scraped from this previous canvas. All right, so what I'm going to do is start layering up the colors and the split. All right, I'm going to start with the green on the outside layer. Trying to get them as even as possible so all the colors come out in the same amount when I tip forward. Quinacridone Rose. Right. Definitely got more than 12 ounces of paint, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna start right about here in the middle. Let's start up fairly high.
I'm gonna put some floor extender down. Give this a little torch. All right, let's start moving this around.
All right, that is really cool. I am going to clean up the edges, get my corners, torch, and then I'll bring you guys in. All right, here we go. I love this. I love this color selection. I kind of based it off of like the hydrangeas I have out in my yard and I see in my neighbor's yards, those pinks and the greens and blues really came together. The white really helps set it off. Really rotating that canvas helps a lot too. Let me bring you in here. All right, let's see how this one dries. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. These lines, the colors in this, really giving me some flower vibes. I'm loving that center. I tell you, these lines with the split cup, when you rotate the canvas and stuff, it just comes out so beautiful. I love it so much. Let me bring you in here. Okay, everyone, that's gonna do it. This came out really great. Loving this design. It's giving me some serious floral action, some hydrangea colors. Um, you know, putting green and pink together, it's always a risk, but I think, I think it came out well. Um, I love rotating that canvas. Uh, it came out just great. Um, so I am definitely gonna get that up on my Etsy shop. I've kind of been absent on posting anything to my social medias other than my Facebook. Um, I'm just trying to get back into the groove of things. So uh, all my art is for sale. So if you see it over on my Etsy shop and you want to purchase it, you can email me directly. That way we can uh, skip the whole Etsy process on fees and stuff. So thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you on Sunday's video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.